Hello, everybody, and welcome to this new edition of Sharf Expresso. My name is Daniel Marcello, and I'll be going over uh, how to properly create your first Amazon listing. So the first thing um, I want to go over is uh, what do you need uh, for Uh, to sell on Amazon with China. So first of all, we'll need the Shopify app. Shopify store. We'll need the China app from Shopify. And we'll need set commerce. But this is not the same table set commerce as the one from Etsy. This is a different one. that uh, it's, it's free in the beginning, I believe. And then they start charging based on the amount of sales that you get and these things. Oh, actually it's based on sales. So um, <clears throat> moving on, uh, once you install this, uh, you'll be able to automate your FPM orders that come from the Amazon sales channel. Now, uh, in order to create your first listing on Amazon, you first need to create your listing in the Shino app. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new product. We'll search for the best necklace that you think it's selling as well as the best design. I'll name it something like to my daughter, Braver, Love Knot, Nicholas Gift Set. Okay, publish it. Now, once you log into your uh, Amazon sell Seller Central account, uh, you want to go to Catalog, then Add Products. After that, you want to click on, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. Uh, you'll be prompted, prompted to this page where Amazon is asking you to select a category. So we're going to search for the best category for our product in niche. In this case, it's a necklace for a daughter. So what we're going to do is choose the clothing, shoes, jewelry, women, jewelry, necklaces, and the necklaces category. After this, we need to enable more attributes so we can see all the information that pops up. They're asked, the first thing is, uh, they're asking you to, if there are any variations. So in this case, we'll have four variations and I'm going to show you why uh, later. So what I'm going to do now is click on the style and color. So those are the two type of variations that we want to have in our listing. Now in regards of product, in regards to product name, this is, uh, we want to start with our brand name, right? So in this case, our brand name is FG Family Gift Mall. That's how we're going to start our product, our product title. Uh, the reason why we use the brand name is because I've seen Amazon altering your title if they don't detect that you have your brand name in the beginning. That has personally happened to me and I've heard that from other experts. So that's why I strongly recommend to start with your brand name always. Now, in order to create your title, you gotta pretty much list the best long tail keywords that you find, right? Now by best, I mean, the ones that have the lowest competition, uh, the ones that have the highest search volume, the ones that have a better opportunity for you to rank on in that specific keyword. So for that, Helium 10 has multiple tools that you can use. One of my favorite is Magnet. <clears throat> and in Magnet, what you want to do is pretty much type whatever you will type on Amazon 
to find your product. So in this case, it's a gift for daughter. So I'll type daughter necklace or necklace for my daughter. Once you do that, Helium Time is going to populate a lot of data that is highly relevant to the search that you enter. So as you can see, we have over 3,700 keywords, uh, which means that we need to filter them, right? So because we are in the daughter niche, we want to just see keywords that contain the word daughter, right? That's why we put it here in phrase containing. And now we have 1700 keywords. Another thing we want to do is uh, put a minimum search volume so we can see only the best ones, right? So I'll do 500 search volume minimum. Now we only have 59 keywords. Uh, it requires a really in-depth analysis on what keywords to choose for your title in the beginning. Uh, I'll probably cover this in a different video. For the sake of this example, um, we're going to filter this by search volume and we're going to try to play around with uh, the keywords that are highly relevant to our product and that we could use for our title. So <clears throat> now, I mean, this strategy or, or this, this method works for the daughter niche, right? There are other niches where this is not the same. For example, if we are targeting to my, uh, a to my soulmate necklace, right? It, it doesn't suffice for you to just type soulmate here, right? Because you could have other keywords like uh, love, heart, husband, wife, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, couple, right? Partner. So because of that, uh, you, you really have to be careful and, and try to think in other keywords that could be relevant or could be used, right? In this case, it's called the Ruth keyword. So in my case, the Ruth keyword is daughter and necklace, right? Because it well, actually it would be daughter more than necklace because you could say daughter gift and people that that look for daughter gift most likely buy a shine on product so it's not only necklace could be gifts could be presents could be pendant could be jewelry there are many many terms that, that you could target for so the seed the root keyword will be daughter right because there's a niche we're targeting for so um let's just let's just move forward um I will not use our mother daughter bracelets. This is a keyword that you may want to test in ads to see if it works. I've seen a keyword like this work because sometimes people are just thinking about a bracelet and then they see the necklace and they see the message and they think it's, it's better than just a bracelet. So I've seen this work, but it, it will require testing. Um, it will not be a good idea to have a new title because if you're testing, then it means that is a keyword that you're not sure if it's gonna work for you. Now we have other ones that are broader, but they have a higher chance uh, that will sell your product, right? So for the sake of this example, I will start with mother daughter necklace. Okay. Then I will go with daughter gifts, gift daughter necklace gift from mom. Okay, let's do this. So that way you're you're trying not to repeat right all the time. From mom, let's look to my daughter jewelry. Now I'm not going to say from that because the design that we're doing, it's, uh, from mom to daughter. So I'm not going to put that 
But if you were doing a design that is more general or a, or if you're trying to create a pattern listing that is more general, then yeah, I mean, you can include mom, dad, daddy, father, mother, uh, all the terminology that applies, right? Uh, let's keep on going. birthday gifts ideas, right? This is a good one. It's not wrong to repeat twice. In this case, I'm like using a plural here, which uh, I think is still like Amazon will still like now consider it the same, but it, it doesn't hurt, right? Uh, let's keep on going here. So we found the birthday on wedding day. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can do this for a wedding day, right? But this is a, another good thing about Helium 10. Like you find potential niches, right? So maybe you could do a more focused message card next time saying to my daughter on her wedding day, right? College daughter, we've got college daughter too. Interlocking necklace is more specific, right? So this is love knot, so I will not probably not use it. I will not put I mean I guess it's fine. It's just I would probably put on the back end keywords for events like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, like any other all the events that will apply, I will put on the back end keywords because you you want your title to look nice, right? And and it and for it for customers to to understand right and and they may they have to make sense so I, I think we're good for now um next thing we can do we should do is can come continue they're gonna ask for department uh in this case i'll just put women because it's from mom to daughter otherwise you can put like unisex adult uh the gem type uh it really depends on what you're selling, right? So in this case, I'm pretty sure this one has a cubic zirconia. Yep, cubic zirconia. So I'll put cubic zirconia, metal type, stainless steel, and material type, stainless steel as well. Then I'll go to variations. So this is where we select the style and color, right? So in the style section, what I'll put is a standard box or black box, whatever you really want uh, for this box. And on the style, I like to put LED box. And I like to say LED because, I mean, I've seen so many reviews so far about China products. And I know the main reason why people buy the mahogany is because of the light, right? They're not able to see when the, the box is nice, but they're not able to see the material until they get it, right? But what they do see is the light. That's why I like to call it lead box because that way it's like people people think of a light. So and they, they try to maybe search the images and see what where the lead is, right? There are actually multiple winners that uh not, not shine on products, but multiple winners on dropshipping and other markets that sell really well because they have that lead wow factor. So Definitely uh, recommend to use this terminology. Then uh, what I like to do is use the same design and offer an earrings upsell, right? And the reason why I do that is because you can get better margins if people tend if if people want to like choose these uh, earring this love knot bundle, right? So pretty much I do the same thing my daughter favor uh necklace earring and necklace set gift set right so i'll call it necklace necklace and earring set right i'll probably call it like this. And here I call it let dash necklace and then reset. Right. 
Now in color uh, is where I will put the name of the redesign, right? So in this case, I call that braver and I'll put love not. Braver love not, right? And if you want to put like maybe the, the color of your design or something, you can, I could put like clean, braver love not, add it. So once I add this, uh, they give me the option to put the SQ number. So the, I know like set commerce, ha they have a way for you to like create your listings from within their app. That's something that I've never used. And I recommend this way because all set, all set commerce needs is the SQ number to match from your Amazon seller central account to Shopify. So they detect the order and sync it. So in this case, what I'll recommend is to go into the products that you just created. So these are the earrings, right? And copy and paste the SQ numbers. So this is the SQ for the necklace and earring set. So I'll put the SQ here. And this is the SQ for the lead necklace and earring set. And if we go back to the other product, which is this one, this is the SQ for the 14K by gold, which is the one that I'm trying to sell. And this is the one for the mahogany. So now you could really like, you could really structure your style variation the way you want. I've seen other sellers do like structure it by necklace type, right? Instead of saying a standard box, like what they put like interlocking, uh, love not, lucky in love, uh forever love right now the thing with that is that they'll they will all be priced at the same while with this strategy you're pricing at 39 you're pressing at 59 you're pressing even up to 79 so you really get better profit better margins uh when you do this so um but you know feel free to test any way that you want to uh structure your uh listings this is the uh, the way that is working for me, and and that's why I'm sh I'm showing in the video. Um, now the reason why I brought this up is because I'm not choosing the gold variation yet, and it's something that I haven't personally tested yet. However, um, it, it could be it could potentially be a, a good idea to list them, or, or maybe like create. It's something that I'm definitely going to test in the future. But for now, that's how I've been doing it uh, since uh, 2020. So uh, when this gold variant popped up, uh, I guess um, I was not 100% sure on how to implement it into my current strategy. So once I, I fully test this, uh, I'll definitely share all the information with you guys. Now, moving on, uh, after you enter the SQ numbers, of course, make sure they're correct. Uh, you don't have to fill this out. You'll, the condition that you'll be selling is new. And the price. Now, the price varies depending on the niche. However, most of the time, it's $39.99. Now, why you want to do $39.99? For that, we're going to like analyze the market. Okay, So we'll type what we had typed before, which was, or like even if you want to type this, right? Mother, daughter, necklace. Let's type this the most searched keyword, right? Now, you might get scared if you see like necklace at $30, this necklace at 16, this necklace at 14, this necklace at 15. I get it. I mean, when I when I first got into the market, uh, I was, I, I felt like they're selling it too cheap, right? Now, I'm going to show you why this doesn't matter. If I click on the Helium 10 Chrome extension and I click on X-Ray, Helium 10 is going to populate all the data that came out from the search. So the next thing I'll do is sort all these products by revenue. And what happens? The, the products that are selling the, the best and the most are first, and the ones that are not selling well at the end. So these first three, we probably won't consider our competition because someone that is looking for a daughter gift is not necessarily going to buy this or prefer this over our products, right? 
So I won't consider them our competition. The next one is actually our product. Uh, and it's the best one selling at 39.99. After this, after our product, we see the sunflower necklace. Now the sunflower necklace is not directly related to the other niche. So I'll probably not consider this her competition either. So we already have number one. These are the same product. It pops up twice because one is through a sponsor and one is through organic search. Now the, the second one, like in reality is the second one. This is the first one. This is the second one. The second one is mother daughter necklace. Now in mother daughter necklace, what happens it, this guy is selling at $42 and they're making $12,000 a month. If we look at the chart, they are selling 12, 15 sales. They're having 15 sales a day. And I believe this is the same. Yep. So this is number one, number two, number three is the same seller, right? Selling a 39. Number four is this guy that is selling at a lower price. Yes. And then we have this seller again, selling at 43 and making $8,000 a month. Then all almost at the bottom, we have Aphrodite that uh, is doing okay. Uh, and selling at 39 as well. So based on this market analysis, I can say that a fair price to start will be 39.99. Now, one little trick that you could do that I don't think it, it really affects as much, but when you're starting out, anything counts is maybe like offer the lowest decimal, right? So this one is selling 39.99. This one is 41, 39.99 Aphrodite is 39.87, right? So you, you may want to like be like five cents lower than this. So 39.82. Now this, this may not affect in a big way, but when Amazon considers all the factors to either have a preference for you or your competition, they take price into consideration, right? So if your price is lower than the competition, then that's one point in your favor. So in the beginning, you want to do anything that you can to, to be able to like, to beat your competition. So I'll probably recommend to start like this. Then the mahogany doesn't really matter. I always add up $20. The standard box with earrings, I start with $59.99. And the lead box with earrings, I do $79.99. In the quantity section, I'll put a thousand for all of them. Next, we go to offer. In the offer section, you will got to make sure to configure the shipping settings. This is very important. So make sure to configure your shipping settings. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you real quick, uh, how shipping settings are, uh, you can take a screenshot of this after this is how we have them. I don't have any issues with this, right? This is what we have. Huh, well, we should probably, oh yeah, no, no, it's good. Okay, yeah, so that's what we have. The list price, you always want to put like 99.99, which means that that's the original price of your product, but you're actually selling at 39.99. So that's, you're pretty much telling Amazon, hey, I'm entering into this market, but I'm actually giving a discount, you know? Then, then uh, we have the handling time, which I always put three days. Now you can even like, you can put whatever you want here. Uh, just know that are pros that are, that there are pros and there are cons when choosing your handling time, right? If you put like two, for example, uh, you're going to have issues with orders not going out on time, right? Cause Amazon requires the tracking number for you to say that the order is shipped. So in that case, um, you're going to have issues. You, your seller performance will be bad and you might not even win the buy box. So, um, if you put four or five, then your competitors that are selling FBM products as well, uh, are probably having something lower than five. Right? So I found it personally that three day handling time it's, it's the sweet spot. You might have issues, but not as many, not as many issues 
for you to like really worry about it's considered a big loss for your business so uh that's why i will recommend three if you want to be on the safer side you can do four uh next uh you want to say that your offer is you want to put the day before so your listing is active starting today but you are saying that you you just started your offer yesterday so like it's a very new product it's a uh let's see it's a um Mm, it's a brand new edition. It's, it's something in, in, in innovative, right? In, innovative, innovative, yeah. So <clears throat> then you want to say, I will ship this item myself because you're shipping, you're shipping it yourself, right? Shinong is doing it for you. Um, very soon we'll offer an FBA, an in-house FBA solution where we will provide all the labels and pretty much you won't worry about uh fba shipments at all um once we do that you'll be able to select this option and i'll definitely make a video on how on how to uh, create fba listings uh however in that case if you already had an fbm listing the best thing you will do is like um you know just add it as a condition so in that case if you like for example have a listing that has uh six units in the stock and they and you run out of stock your listing will automatically go into fbm mode so you'll still be able to get sales and and fulfill the fbm orders through shino so but for now for the sake of this example we'll just do i will ship this item myself uh in compliance tab there is really nothing for you to enter uh for shino products then images we won't worry about images for now in the description section, this is where you want to like apply more SEO, right? And try to um, put all the keywords that, you know, that you can, right? And here's a good example on how, let's look at one of one competitor. Mm, let's look at, Now let's look at this one. Oh yeah, so the product description, uh, I pretty much just entered the description from Shino. Right, so that's something that you, you can do as well. Of course, not the images. But uh, just to, to get started, you can just put the description for China. Now the bullet points, the bullet points are this, right? So you want to like check your competition, but of course, like, you know, don't copy exactly how they're doing it. Uh, just try to reword uh, the words and reword the phrases and, and like try to see uh, how you can make it better and apply the keywords that are you're seeing from Helium 10. So after you fill out the bullet points, you want to go to the backend keyword section. So the best practices for subject matter is to enter a very long tail keyword in phrase form and that are like highly relevant to you, to your listing and to your product you're trying to sell. So you're only allowed to add five. So make sure that that you're you're taking advantage of this, right? So examples will be this: mother daughter necklace. You can also filter here, like for count, to be like at least three, right? So now we'll have like this: daughter necklaces from mom. Mother daughter jewelry, I guess. Um, to my daughter is a good one. Yeah. And gifts for daughter from mom. Daughter birthday gives ideas. Right. And in search terms, you'll pretty much. So in search terms, you also put. In search terms is where you will put keywords that you you want to rank so bad, but you can't really put it in the title. 
Now, let me give you two examples. The first example would be the word necklace. Okay, so the word necklace, it's misspelled, but many people use it uh, or type it when they're searching for a gift or they're searching for on Amazon. So let me just show you why. So you prove that this is true. The word necklace alone has 2,300 search volume. So it's, it's been searched 2,300 times in the last 30 days, which means that you definitely want to rank. If your product is a message card necklace, you want to rank for the word necklace. Another example would be uh, foreign languages. So uh, we're using the word Necklace, going back to necklace. Necklace in Spanish is collar, right? And collar is actually being searched almost 24,000 times in the last 30 days. So definitely some stuff that like that you want to put in your you don't want to put in your title, but you definitely want to rank for this, right? So this is what you will want to put in the search term section. We go to more details. Uh, I don't think there is really anything to put here. So yeah, after that, we're done. We click on save and finish. Now you'll see something like this, and this is the SQ number. You will search your new product with this code. Make sure it's in the SKU section. And at this point, you want to wait like five minutes, right? While you're waiting, you want to download all the images that you want to add for your product. So I will want to download this one, this one, and this one. Uh, now I'm looking for now this can this process could be speed up you, you can really speed this up if you use the bulk generator uh, tool from Shino that way, all the listings you create for the love knot, you'll see all the same images, right? The same mockups. That way, you you'll just like not be searching for this whole day. That's something I have set up, uh, and I forgot to use it for this example. So bear with me for a second. Did I skip it? Oh no, it's really here. Okay. All right, let's search it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, as you can see, now we have our listing with four variations. What we need to do next is click on this arrow and then we'll see all the variations. The last step, or one of the last steps is to add the images, right? So this is the listing for the earrings. This is for the listing for the earrings. This is for the mahogany and this is for the standard box. So we're going to go to the standard box first we're going to go to the images section for to get here i clicked on edit and then i i came here and next thing is just to add 
the images that you want. Looks like you can add this one. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that I like to add one image that is showing all the all the specs and one with somebody using it. All right, so pretty much that's how I'd like to put it. Uh, probably, if, I should probably put one more mock-up here, but uh, just know that the first three uh, images are the most important ones, right? Not, not everybody goes and scrolls down or scrolls or swipes uh, right or left on, on the images, on all the images, right? Most of the times they just swipe twice and see, and, and if they like the images, they'll buy the product, right? So that's one. And for the lead box, pretty much the lead box, this is how I like to do it. It looks like we're having an error with this one. Sometimes we gotta like download a different way. Yep, better. So this is how we'll do it. Now, very important guys, for you to show this mock-up second, because again, the first three are the ones that matter the most. So you want the second image to be the one that you want the customer to see, right? Uh, so that's why I always put this one. It shows the light, it shows perfectly how it comes in. And then the customer, you know, can imagine how the gift will be um, better than if, if you will just show this or this mock-up right here, right? So well, next thing I'll do is save and finish. And repeat the same for the earrings and the uh, mahogany, right? Now, the last step would be to go on each of these uh, products that you created in China, click on more actions, click on view product in Shopify. And this is very important because if you don't do this, the orders won't uh won't be synced so you gotta do is go to the product in, in shopify click on manage and enable the amazon by set commerce sales channel and click save and you're good and then repeat the same for the other one Oh, this is the one that I had done before. Oops. Okay, this is it. All right, after this, any sales that come from this listing, for any of these listings will be synced through the SQ number. That's why they will have to have the same SQ number. 
Now, um, I know I put the images. Uh, I don't think it's going to be live yet. But as you can see, the variations are here. Oh, see, this one wants to pop up, but it might give me an error. Oh, no. OK. So here are the images. Here is the color name. This is the standard style, the style, the standard box. Uh, the LED box is not visible yet, but you just got to give it time, and then it should be live. Uh, I have a, an example that I did before. So pretty much it will show like this, right? I only put one image there. Here I put multiple, right? So that this is how you should show, right? <clears throat> Once you uh, launch your listing. Uh, but of course, give it, give it like 30 minutes, an hour. Uh, so you can see that the, that the listing is fully active. So I think that's, that, that was the last step. And if you guys have any questions or any concerns, uh, please leave them in the comment section. Um, and I'll be more than happy to assist you with anything I can. So thank you so much and have a good one, everybody. Take care.